Yo, 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 what's up everybody? Silky Creamy in the house. What is up? So glad you folks are here. We're here for another special video. Uh, but before I get started, I want to welcome those that are new. If, you, if, if you're new here, this is your first video. Um, uh, my name is Silky Creamy and I do very niche review videos for shaving products and skincare products. I take a deep dive look at the product inside and out. And then we learn from the artisan. Um, what's inside and inspiration behind it and um, hopefully the video will give you some uh, better um, insight on the product and um, may help you in making a decision on whether you want to pick it up or not so anyway that's what I do um, for those that are returning you're just simply sexier and better and you know it and I know it and um, so glad you guys are here so anyway let's get started let's get cracking folks and this is going to be very special because this is the very first murphy and mcneil <laughs> welcome in murphy and mcneil you have made it you have made it finally and this is my fault and i'm so sorry that we waited so long um you know hey i'm brand new at this we're learning together and we had a bunch of new releases come out and you know we i was introduced to certain brands first and so you know i you know i get involved with those brands but um one thing was very clear murphy and mcneil is um a um a brand that doesn't i mean the 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 true wet shaving enthusiasts know that this brand has um, incredible incredible qualities and is widely considered as one of the top brands out there okay top brands that you can get and um but a lot of people are also unaware of um murphy and mcneil and so um my hope is that as we go through each scent um and we learn more about the base and as i try them and i post videos and i um and uh, post pictures on my Insta you know I, I do i post pictures on my instagram um every day when i do my shave of the day and, and what i'm using um we will learn more and more about this brand and why it's so good and so um there is a plethora of videos on youtube um talking about um, from many different influencers talking about this brand and how well and how creamy it, it, it is and so i can't wait and so um they offer a host of different scents um some of the, the artwork like this is just absolutely stunning the best artwork that we've seen right from a lot of different um um brands and so um this is has to be the first we have to do right we have to do this one first so Anyway, let me get my knife out because I'm gonna need that for the shaving, um, not for the shaving, but for the um, splash. There we go. All right. Without further ado, folks, that was a long intro, but you know, this is our first Murphy and McNeil um, soap. So today we are reviewing Barber Shop de los Muertos, folks. This label, holy. Oh my God. First off, high gloss sticker, high end sticker. Just absolutely high gloss. Just look at this, man. Unbelievable. Now we go to the actual label art. Just absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Just the font, the words, the sprinkles of gold. And it's all multicolored up there. Um, and then now we go to the actual skull. Look at that skull, folks. Look at the color. It's even got a mustache. Look at that. And the goatee. And the teeth. Look at the... Man. Look at the detail, guys. absolutely beautiful label yeah this is probably the nicest label i've seen in a long time Raz has done some amazing work this is amazing absolutely unbelievable 
boy. All right, let's go to the side. So there is your Murphy and McNeil logo. This is XD. I think this is Chicano Designs. I don't know what this is. Um, I don't know. There's some sort of other collaboration here. Because that's someone else's logo. Barbershop de los Mertos. Look at that. Unbelievable. So BDLM. That's what we're going to be calling it moving forward. BDLM. So this comes in their Aeon base. Um, I don't. I I would assume when they first launched this, it would they had a Kodiak base for this. Uh, but this is in their Aeon base, which is basically beef tallow, uh, beef tallow, <laughs> tallow, beef tallow and duck fat, lanolin, silk. So Murphy McNeil's out of Flower Mound, Texas. All right, let's take this out, take a look for the very first time. Oh, I can't wait. This is the very first time I'm looking at the Aeon base. Oh, okay. All right. I see you. Oh, okay. It's got that very light colored. Um, so we know, yes, barbershop, right? We know it's going to be citrus. Um, but it's almost like, oh man, what a pour. We have some ribbons and craters, reminiscent, very thick pour too. So we have two different bases that are coming to mind for, for me right now. The ribbons and the craters remind me of um, um, Kaizen and uh, milk steak, okay? So this looks like what Kaizen and milk steak look like. This pour and the consistency and the thickness remind me of gentle, uh, Gentleman Nod's uh, Cardinal Base. Of this. Okay, so it's firm. Yeah, it's firm. Yeah, it's firm. Okay, so this, yeah, so the consistency is of like uh, Gentleman, like the Cardinal Base from Gentleman's Nod. Okay, let's do our first smell. Oh man. So this is definitely a citrus forward. Um, it's very bright. Um, this, some, this is what you would expect from a barbershop scent. This is a classic barbershop scent. Citrus forward, um, beautiful and bright uh, scent. All right, let's go ahead and read from the website. So it says, uh, so this is $20 for the soap. This is a four ounce tub. So looking at $5 an ounce. So description, uh, uh, Joe Per, so I don't know who that, John Perry and Chicano Design, Rafa, in collaboration with Bill Graham of Murphy McNeil present to you the re-release of Barbershop de, Lo, de Los Muertos. For those that follow John and Rafa, you've seen the work, love for life, and love for this shaping hobby. It's a mutual respect from two guys who are similar yet so different. Let me put this label up correctly so you guys can see. The original BDLM was very well received by the community, but sold out fast, leaving many wishing they had a better chance at winning this edition for their den. This re-release is meant to bring BDLM back to the masses so everyone will have a chance at this great set. The aftershave is Murphy and McNeil's latest formula and will definitely kick the fragrance experience up a notch. The scent on this set is inspired by homage, um, Amouage, or Amouage, uh, 25 for men, XXV, 25 for men. And it's a citrus forward accord that settles into fantastic woody, musky base. Scent strength is medium. Top notes are cystus, labdanum, coriander, orange, davana, frankincense, and blackberry. Middle notes are honey, bay, cinnamon, orchid, rose, clove, celery seed, and wyak wood. And the base is, uh, or the bottom notes, 
is patchouli, aquaponics, myrrh, atlas cedarwood, musk, moss, ambergris, oud wood, and immortel. And it says, note, some may recognize this fragrance as an homage to Jubilation 25 Man by Amouage. No affiliation. All right. So that is what this is. It is a very citrus forward. It is a dupe. Or an homage. Shave splash. Look at this. Alcohol. Witch hazel. Oh, I got the alcohol free one. So this has witch hazel. Um, yeah, this has no alcohol. Yeah, this is definitely, um, wait. Interesting. This one is, smells amazing. This actually smells so good. This has more of the, um, what do you call that? I smell like cinnamon and clove and the woods in this one. This one smells amazing. This is a really great scent. And quite fitting that we um, picked this as our first soap set to review. Anyway, this is Barbershop de los Muertos from Murphy and McNeil. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, really glad that I'm going to be getting into Murphy and McNeil moving forward. Um, this is in their Aeon base, right? Um, which is uh, beef tallow and duck fat. But I have a bunch of Kodiak uh, soaps as well. So you'll see some um, variations between each video uh, because I have a fair amount of Kodiak. Um, I think like seven or eight uh, different soaps in Kodiak. So um, yeah, that'll be a treat. We'll have a different uh, basis. So we'll get used to the Aeon and to the Kodiak. So as always, I appreciate you so much for being here. And as always, make sure you take care of one another. Treat each other nicely. All right. Let's have a great day, great week, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.